Richard, I know it was killing you to, to not fight DC. I noticed on your way out of the octagon, you gave him the, uh, you told him he was number one. <laughs> you, yeah. So, I mean, does it does it just start up again right now? I mean, do you already kind of have that fuel in your in your body that you just want to start, you know, getting ready for Daniel Cormier? Yeah, you know what, I, um, I I gave Daniel the finger leaving the octagon. It felt great to do. Um, it, it it creates buzz. It, it gets people ready for the fight. You know, it's like okay, you know, me and DC don't like each other. Um, he's been in my sights this whole time. We had a minor uh, uh, bump in the road. We had to take a little detour, and now it's back to uh, to uh, you know this beef with DC. So it wasn't it wasn't there was not too many emotions involved with me doing it. It was more for fun. It was more to get a reaction from the fans and, and restart this storyline between me and DC. I was going to ask you a little bit about that because the other day you were praising him and you were happy for him that he won the title. And when I asked you, why don't you like him? You said, well, because he don't like me. Right. But you said a lot of you know praiseworthy things about him. So yeah. now you got to take that back and sort of start snarling at him again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like I said what I said and I meant what I said. But um, at the end of the day, you know, it's exciting when you fight someone uh, that you don't like and they don't like you. You know, you want to keep that going. Um, and so I just wanted to give him the finger just to, just, <laughs> just, to, just to keep it going, just to, you know, get under his skin and, and keep the fans excited. How do you think this version of John Jones would have done against Daniel Cormier tonight? I would have I beat him up pretty good because I am, I am, I am tuned up to be fighting Daniel Cormier. Um, you know, all my techniques, the angles, my ideas, you know, I've been working for Daniel Cormier uh, for seven months, over seven months. And, uh, you know, you, you know, it's just, it's just like you put the Patriots, you know, or I'm not even going to make a football analogy. I just, I've been training for one fighter and they, they threw me this taller power punching or uh, switching stances, you know, you know, it was just, it wasn't, wasn't what I was prepared for. So I, I believe I can beat Daniel Cormier right now for sure. And I'm going to prove that as soon as possible. So I'm wondering now, looking back on the last 15 months, can you tell us from your judgment, whether it was reflective tonight or not, do you feel like you got significantly better or uh, yeah. how would you assess it? I, I feel like I've gotten a lot better. I think you guys will see that when I fight DC. Like I, like I keep saying, I, uh, I have been working so hard to beat DC, you know, and um, I, I, you guys will see that. You will see that. You'll see, okay, here's John. Everything is, is opening. You know, I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna pick DC apart. I feel like I, I'm ready to out wrestle him. I feel like um, I feel like I'm gonna beat him up really, really bad.